So, we finished Spring Festival. I'm so glad it's over. I don't even want to talk about it ever again. It's not over yet. Oh, bollocks. So apparently, China has not finished celebrating yet. That's because we've got Lantern Festival, which falls on the 15th day of the first lunar month, and in Chinese, it's called Yuan Xiao Jie. There's a funny story as to why this festival is called Yuan Xiao Jie. It's not funny at all. There's a mildly interesting story as to why this festival is called Yuan Xiao Jie. The first month of the lunar calendar is known as the Yuan month, and in ancient China, the night was referred to as Xiao. So when the first full moon rolls around, this night is accordingly known as Yuan Xiao. That doesn't really explain anything, actually, does it? So um, here's theory number one. The first theory behind the origins of this festival is that the emperors of China were worshipping the god of heaven. So, beginning with the very first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, they would each hold ceremonies throughout the night of the first full moon, asking this god for good weather for the year ahead. But theory number two is a bit more interesting. In the Han Dynasty, Dong Fang Shuo was an advisor to the emperor. Now one day he heard somebody crying in an imperial garden. He went to see what was happening and he found a little girl crying, getting ready to jump into a well and kill herself. So he said, Oi, what are you doing? The little girl, a maid called Yuan Xiao, said she hadn't seen her parents since she started working in the temple, and if she couldn't pay respects to her parents, she'd rather die. So Dong Fang Shuo said to her, No, don't, don't die. I'll sort it out. At this point, Dong Fang Shuo, a respected individual within society, went around and started spreading a rumour that on the 15th day of the first lunar month, a fire would engulf the city. What a liar! He then told people that on the 13th day of that first lunar month, a fairy dressed in red would come around and she'd start to burn the city down and the people should ask her for mercy, but in actual fact, that fairy was Yuan Xiao in disguise, so she's a liar too! When Yuan Xiao walked through the city, she gave everybody a proclamation from the god of fire and said this this must be delivered to the Emperor. The Emperor read this and naturally he asked Dong Fang Shuo for some advice and I promise this is exactly what he said. The God of Fire likes to eat Tang Yuan, which are little sweet balls made from glutinous rice flour filled with all kinds of fillings. Anyway, that's what he said. Uh, Yuan Xiao's pretty good at making Tang Yuan, aren't you? Mm. So uh, let her make Tang Yuan and you can tell everyone else to make Tang Yuan and also um, tell everyone to hang red lanterns and, and light firecrackers and then it'll look like the city's on fire and we'll trick the god of fire. Does that sound okay? And the emperor said yes! He followed the plan and at some point, for some reason, Yuan Xiao's parents went to the palace and were reunited with her daughter and because Yuan Xiao made the best Tang Yuan, everybody decided to call this festival Yuan Xiao Festival. Surely that's not true. I've been told to say that that might be true. Anyway, aside from hanging lanterns and eating Tang Yuan and lighting firecrackers, people also like to solve riddles during this festival, as these riddles were attached to the lanterns during the Tang Dynasty. Now, they often carried messages of good fortune. I've got one right in my pocket here. I took it down from a lantern earlier. Let's have a go and try and solve it. Right. You'll have a good year ahead of you, and every day you'll eat Beijing duck. As long as you're able to tell me a word that rhymes with luck. Because she made the best Tang Yuan, they called it Yuan Xiao Festival. That's, bo that's bollocks, right? Surely that's bollocks. <laughs> Surely that's not true. Surely that's not true. Surely that's not true. It might be true. And the Emperor said yes! And the Emperor said yes! And, it <coughs> and the Emperor said yes, 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 yes! In fact, I've got one here in my back pocket, if I can get it. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks! And they carried messages of good fortune. In fact, I've got one. Mm. <laughs> Is that alright? One more. Gross, horrible, quickly.